driving. It's about driving around with a wireless enabled laptop to find wireless access points to gain information to local area networks. Let's go and investigate. Let's roll! I'm here with Anita Weaponer and uh, we're here to do wall driving. So Anita, what's going to happen today? Well. <laughs> Basically what we're going to do is we're going to get in the car, we're going to drive around a little bit, um, we're going to boot up the computer and we're going to run software that's going to um, detect the wireless networks in the area. Basically see um, how many of the networks are encrypted, just to show you know, how lax security are. Find an encrypted network, we're going to break into the network, we're going to just um, quickly demonstrate how how easy it is to get into someone's computer as well. Excellent. So a lot of this will be public awareness and basically how weak your system is, whether you've got protection or not. So, uh, okay, shall we go? I think we should. Yep, okay. Wall driving, what exactly is it about? So wall driving is just driving around protecting um, the wild side. Right? Where does wall driving originate from? The name comes from, um, the, there's an a old term, before access points, people had to use dial-up modems. What, what they had to do in those days was get software like this basically, and what the software would do is it would dial a range of telephone numbers that you specify, and it would dial those telephone numbers to see whether or not the number they're dialing has another modem attached to the other end. Okay. And that was called raw dialing. I mean, this is a rich area. You'd expect them to have like high security on their security systems. Oh, these ones are encrypted. And like I say, it's uh, fairly easy. Most of them are web. Web is fairly um, old encryption as well. Yeah. You would think the new ones would um, be encrypted with uh, with stronger encryption, okay. like WPA or something. But no, it's still web. Web is still a huge problem. I mean, yeah. how can you tell if they're uh, you know security protected or is it encryption or? If you want to find out if there's security on there, mm -hmm. you uh, just have to take a look. Yep, there's security on that one. Okay, I mean, how hard would it be to uh, crack into someone who's got security? This specific kind of security would be fairly easy. And what specific is that? Web? Yeah, web. Well, I mean, what exactly can you do with a system on. if there's no, like, you know, what would anyone want to do? Basically, just connect to the wireless access point and get free internet. Yeah. Um, you can try and access their home computers. Uh -huh. You can store things like key loggers on their home yeah. computers and, and uh, try and get hold of all their data, like bank details, read their emails. Like yeah, and actually, what some of the war drivers do, they actually map out areas where you find access points. They okay. like like a complete study of them. So basically, you're saying that anyone could, you, you know, piggyback, so to speak, is that the term, um, onto anyone's internet system and download. Children's porn. Yeah, that's another thing that can be done. The, I think the problem is a lot of people think there's no reason really to encrypt the internet access because they don't mind sharing it. You yeah. know, they believe in, in freedom of information, that sort of thing. But the so, problem is you do get creeps out there that would do um, something vile. So, what does professional war driver need for a, a successful drive? Um, well, you basically you need a set of wheels. You need your laptop which is wirelessly enabled. Um, most people actually have antenna as well, um, so they can pick up a wider range, wider range of frequencies. Um, and that's basically all you need, really. No, it's 100% um, illegal. Matter of fact, um, I think a couple of guys got caught the other day, and they got fined um, 500 pounds really? for just board driving. Yeah. Do you reckon you can give us a, a little taste of how to hack into someone's system? Try and um, break into the encryption. Okay. Or the sorry, the encrypted um, access points, and then. What exactly are you going to do with the system? Um, I'm just going to try and compromise the home computer. After 
half an hour, Anita has successfully hacked into a wireless access point. Easy is that we found the key. So the key's found? Yep. Okay, so we've cracked into somebody's computer. So now what you do is you just say uh, exploit the system. So there you have it, wireless networks are insecure and if you must have a wireless network you must have the strongest kind of encryption and a strong password and if you have any highly confidential information we recommend that you don't go wireless.